What is up, YouTube? Uh, I'm doing a requested video here today from uh, Nate Love. He wants me to do a comparison on uh, the Benchmade 940 and the Spyderco Southern. All right, and as with um, any comparison, you you always have your your facts, and then you have your your personal preference, um, which is going to differ from person to person. So I'm just gonna I'm gonna try to cover all that in this video. All right, first we'll uh, we'll start off with the Southern here. This is obviously a Spyderco knife designed by Brad Southern. You have your tan or brown or beige G10, whatever you want to call it. Uh, fair amount of grip actually. And then you have your titanium frame lock with a added G10 over travel stop. A uh, nice pocket clip on here. People have complained um, that this was too sharp. I guess when you're drawing it out of the pocket. I guess it kind of is. But that's a simple fix. I really haven't had too many problems with that. Nice uh, stone wash titanium. Looks very good in my opinion. Nice sizable uh, lanyard hole. This one's going to take uh, torque screws. I'm not sure of the size. I want to say uh, maybe a 10 here and a 6 here. I could be wrong on that. Nicely centered. Nice beefy blade. Deployment action is great. We have uh, CTS 204P on this one, which is an excellent steel, carpenter steel. That's your Spyderco logo there. This one's made in Taichung, Taiwan. Uh, you know, you would prefer to have it made in the USA, but there, that, that factory in Taiwan produces some really really great blades so you can't really complain spider coat uh, southern logo there nice um, hollow grind on this one so it does come down to a pretty fine edge let's see that flipping action one more time very good it's not one of your as Apostle P would say a free dropper you know right away I guess I never taken this apart uh, you know but one, if you take it apart oil it I'm sure it'll be even smoother because it is running on ball bearings see the lockup uh, hovering right around 50% uh, so nice little relief cut here to disengage the lock bar and also a cutout on the uh, show scale not sticky at all I've had this for a while but very nice blade the the spider the spidey hole is a little it's kind of small to deploy with your thumb I mean most of the times you get a flipper you're gonna use the flipper but it is doable. Yeah. Very attractive blade, how it has the, these uh, these curves here. Comes to a nice tip. It's a very nice blade overall. Very ergonomic, very comfortable to hold. You got your gimping on there, a little bit on the frame and the G10, and then a nice run on the blade itself. Very comfortable. All right, so that's your Southern. Now your uh, your Benchmade 940. Very different, <laughs> um, but still very cool. You got your aluminum handles on this one, and it dies green. I don't know if they're blasted or what, but they, it does have some type of grip on there. Um, also, you're gonna have torques on this one. I want to say it's the same size as a T10 and a T6. Again, don't quote me on that, but that's what it looks like. So, obviously being a Benchmade, most of their knives with their patented axis lock. Very smooth. Uh, the trade-off with an axis lock is if you want it to be very smooth and drop like that on its own blade, your pivot's going to be not loose, but not as tight as it can be. So you might have minimal side-to-side -side blade play. Uh, but if you just tighten it all the way down, it's not going to be as smooth. That's all. But um, you got your Benchmade logo there. And this one is made in the USA. 940. This one's designed by Tan Osborne Design. I forget his first name. Forgive me. <laughs> S30V on this one. Excellent steel as well. 
This one, I want to say, is flat ground. But still very sharp, very usable. Very thin knife as well. Um, slides in your pocket. For a knife this size, it's not a small knife. And I'll get out to some measurements later, but they're around the same size. But the 940 is uh, thinner. Blade and, and uh, handles. So you have a, a nice uh, bit of jimping on the, the liners. It doesn't have full liners, but in the, it does happen around the lock and the pivot, pretty much where you would want them. Just to straighten, strengthen everything up there. You have a nice, uh, I'm assuming it's titanium, uh, kind of backspacer, anodized in this rich purple, which is very cool. I mean, I guess it could be aluminum since you can't add it aluminum as well, but I'm not sure on that. This is just an aftermarket uh, titanium pocket clip, low rider. I prefer uh, deep carry on my knives. Um, it didn't. It came just a flat, you know, gray titanium color. I put a torch to it a while ago. It kind of wore off since then, but kind of has this bluish color. Thought it would just go better with, uh, you know, jeans. So very smooth knife, very comfortable in the hand, and very pocketable. Um, and the clip is reversible, or tip up only, due to it being an uh, axis lock. But this other, you're stuck in that tip up uh, right hand only. And being a an axis lock, it's it's truly a right or left hand carry because you can disengage it from either side of the knife. Nice little contours in the handle there. Give it some extra aesthetics and it kind of helps. Uh, maybe not so much, but it does look great. Very nice centering on this one as well. Kind of a rust finish on the top of that spine there. I like the way it looks a lot. In general, the, the blade is kind of a... Oh no, maybe it's not. I thought it was a two-tone finish. Oh yeah, it kind of has that brushed on the flats and then maybe satin grinds. Dual thumb studs. Very cool. So let's do some, uh, you know, some measurements here. Like I said, both very similar sizes. For your 940, it's going to be you know, maybe seven and three quarter inches overall, and around a three and a half inch blade. And pretty much the same applies for your southern, maybe a little bit longer overall. Uh, whoever asked me to compare these, you picked two very good knives, um, but to pick between them is very hard. Um, it's a thing that comes down to personal preference. Um, I know that the um, low riding clips are available uh, on eBay and things like that. I'll leave links in the description as I always try to do um, for the Southern. But um, if you like a thinner carry, I would say go with the Benchmade. It's slimmer for how, for how big of a knife it is. Um, it doesn't seem like that when it's in your pocket. Nice slim package overall. Um, some would say that CTS 204P is superior to S30V. Um, I guess it's debatable, but if you're using it for just simple everyday cutting test, you're really not going to notice, so that shouldn't be a factor. Um, that was something I didn't even notice. This one doesn't have a lanyard hole, um, and the spider code does. For me, I don't, I'm not too into lanyard, so it doesn't bother me, but if you like a lanyard on your knife, I would say go with the Southern. Both very comfortable in the hand. Um, maybe the Southern's a little bit more ergonomic because it does have that extra width but definitely still both very very comfortable <clears throat> if you're a flipper guy go with the southern if you're a big fan of the axis lock go with the 940 uh, in my opinion you really can't go wrong either way but if um, if you said I had to choose between one of these it'd be a very tough decision
honestly, I think I tend to lean more towards spider coves, but in this specific case, I think um, I would choose the 940. Just the uh, ease of operation, again, the, the thinness, and uh, it's very pocketable. <laughs> Gonna handle any cutting tests you have during the day. And yeah, who, who doesn't love a nice access lock, right? I almost just cut myself there. Yeah, but like I said, you can't go wrong either way. Um, it comes down to personal preference because uh, on the spec sheet, these are these are two very similar blades. Uh, this one has something I forgot to mention: open construction on the Spartaco, uh, closed on the um, on the Benchmade. Frame lock versus access lock. Uh, weight, I'm not even too sure about the weights, but I would definitely say that uh, 940 is lighter, <clears throat> being aluminum and only having partial liners. Titanium isn't heavy, but you just, you know, it's titanium and you got a whole another titanium liner on this side, which is fairly thick. And then uh, G10 and the blade being thicker. I'm not sure on the exact weights, but I, I'll tell you that the, sp the southern is heavier. If that's something that uh, you look for in a blade. It to be lightweight, some guys prefer heavier blades. It's like I said, it's all personal preference. So, there you go, guys. Uh, Nate, I hope you enjoyed the video as well as everyone else. And uh, thank you for watching, and I will see you guys on the next one.